afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Benz, this is the quietest I've ever seen a group of students before in my life, so it's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, good afternoon, everyone. Um, if you could uh, all rise, and uh, uh, I'll ask our CIO, uh, Pam Reihofer, to uh, lead us in the invocation, please. Good afternoon. Today we give thanks for the opportunity to care for our community. We are ever mindful of this great responsibility to provide healing and hope to those we serve. We ask that our efforts be guided by wisdom, compassion, and understanding. We join the hospital board in seeking this insight to make decisions that will lead to a better and healthier community. May all that is done here today be for the good of those who have placed their trust in the SMHC system leadership. Thank you. Let me officially call this meeting to order for the month of July. Uh, before we get started, let me read a statement regarding public comment. Any citizen desiring to address the hospital board should turn in a speaker card to the board secretary. If the citizen's comment pertains to an item on the agenda today, the comment will be heard early in the meeting. Otherwise, it will be heard towards the end. Speakers are asked to limit their comments to five minutes. Vendors, suppliers, or other persons seeking hospital contracts awarded on a competitive basis are reminded that their ability to address the board may be restricted by the terms of the invitation for bid, request for proposals, or other purchasing criteria. Lastly, the board has established a claims adjustment review panel comprised of representatives of the board, the medical staff, administration, and legal counsel to review and negotiate the settlement of claims. Accordingly, the board will not entertain comments on or discussion or negotiate claims at this meeting. Well, thank you. All right, first uh, is to approve uh, approval of the orders of the day, and if I could ask one of the board members to pr provide a motion in that regard. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the uh, approval of the orders of the day, please uh, signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Okay, thank you. Next up is, I'll ask for a motion to approving the minutes of the June 17, 2019 meeting. So moved. Second? Second. Okay, any deletions, corrections? All those in favor of approval of the, of the minutes, uh, signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Okay. We do not have any board reports, so I'll move right on, and if I can ask uh, Dr. Seaman to please introduce uh, Dr. Uh, Bentz, and she will introduce us to the uh, FSU students today. Yes, it's a new year, uh, and with that comes new students uh, for training. Uh, Dr. Bentz is our regional campus uh, dean uh, here in Sarasota, who's going to uh, be presenting her students. Thank you. thank you. And thank you all for the privilege of being here today to present our newest class of medical students and physician assistant students to the hospital board. Today I have with me the School of Medicine class of 2021 and the Physician Assistant class of 2019. We welcomed our first class of PA students in January of this year. They will complete 12 months of clinical rotations in and around Sarasota, graduating this December. Several of whom are not only just from this area, but they do plan to live and work here after graduation. I really want to thank you for the continuing support of our school, especially our mission to provide these students with very high quality community-based medical education. Clinical training, especially within this world-class five-star hospital, is so important. This clinical training allows them to be very competitive when choosing their residency programs and their future specialties. I'm excited to mention that two of our graduates are now part of the residency program for internal medicine here at Sarasota Memorial Hospital, 
And we really hope that more students will remain at Sarasota Memorial Hospital to train, especially with the start of the emergency medicine residency program. Since 2005, the Sarasota Regional Campus has graduated 227 physicians. Many of our graduates have completed their residencies and then found their way back to Sarasota so that they could practice in Sarasota and the surrounding counties. This year, we also welcomed four new clerkship directors to our faculty. These are faculty physicians who work closely with the students in an advising and mentoring fashion, as well as recruit faculty, arrange their clerkship rotations, and all four of them are associated with Sarasota Memorial Hospital. Two of them, in fact, are former graduates and alumni of the Florida State um, College of Medicine. So we're very excited about that. Now I would like to have the students come up one at a time. You're going to introduce yourself, give your hometown, the college or university where you graduated, as well as your undergraduate degree. I will start by saying that there was one student who could not join us today, and that's Juliana Benendetti. Juliana is from Cali, Columbia, and she graduated magna cum laude from Florida State University with a bachelor's of science degree in exercise science and a minor in chemistry. So now I'd like to introduce the rest of our medicine class 2021. Good afternoon. My name is Raquel Atencio. I'm from Miami, Florida. And I graduated from Florida State University, magna cum laude, with a degree in biology. Hello, um, my name is Bo Billings. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Um, I graduated from Florida State University with a degree in biochemistry. My name is Lindsay Gump. I'm from Tampa, Florida. I graduated from Florida State University with a, a degree in biology. Hi there, my name is Shelby Hartwell. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I went to New College of Florida, the Honors College of the State, studying biology and chemistry. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Kevin Harvey. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. I was actually born at this hospital. I uh, attended University of Florida and studied biology. Hello everyone, my name is Anisha Kesramani. My hometown is Tampa, Florida. I went to University of South Florida and got my degrees in biomedical science and behavioral health care. Hi, my name is Tiana Kloss. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I went to Florida State University and I got a degree in biology. Hi, my name is Paula Kreutzer. I'm from Palm Harbor, Florida. I went to FSU and I got a bachelor's degree in biology and a master's in public health. Hi, my name is Tyler Moriarty. I am from Lithia, Florida. I went to FSU for my undergrad and I got a master's in public health at FSU as well. Hello, my name is Caitlin Murdoch. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I went to University of South Florida for undergrad, and I got my degree in biomedical sciences with a minor in psychology. Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I attended the University of uh, Florida and graduated with a degree in biology. Good afternoon, my name is Tui Nguyen. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. I attended the University of Florida where I earned a degree in Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. Hi, my name is Anmal Patel. I went to, um, I'm from Vera Beach, Florida and I went to the University of Florida and I graduated with a degree in Economics Magna Cum Laude and a degree in Microbiology Cum Laude. My name is Shani Peter. I'm from Boca Raton, Florida, and I graduated from Florida State University with a bachelor's degree in psychology. Good afternoon. My name is Matej Schneider. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. I graduated from the University of Florida with a degree in physiology 
and thank you all for the opportunity to let us train you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Bernie Shore. I'm currently, well, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, I graduated from the University of Florida with a degree in biology and psychology. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Megan Schwedert. I'm from Anthony, Florida, and I attended Florida State University for undergrad and earned a degree in biological science. Good afternoon. My name is Will Tabor. I'm from Tallahassee, Florida. I graduated from the University of North Florida with a degree in biomedical sciences. Hi, my name is Sydney Taran, and I'm from Crestview, Florida, and I went to Florida State and got a degree in exercise physiology and a minor in biomedical physics. Good afternoon, my name is Richard Wu. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I attended Florida State University and graduated with a degree in biology and a minor in chemistry. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to introduce this class. We are extremely proud of them and really see great things coming from them. I'd like to just pause right now to introduce Megan Verdoni. She is our Associate Clinical Education Director for the School of Physician Assistant Practice. She's going to introduce the class of physician assistants. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, let me move forward here. So my name is Megan Verdoni. I've been a PA here at Sarasota Memorial in the emergency department for 17 years. So many of you I have seen before, um, maybe some as patients actually. <laughs> no secrets. So I really appreciate this opportunity that FSU has provided to have students come down here and train. <coughs> uh, the big reason how I ended up at Sarasota 18 years, 17 years ago, was that I actually had two rotations in this building. My internal medicine and my women's health rotations were here. And when I graduated, uh, they called me up and they said, we'd like you to come back and work here. And that is a, a prime example of how when you have rotations here and preceptors here, those connections are what bring students back. And they don't just become students, they're your colleagues. So on that note, uh, I'm really proud to introduce my future colleagues. Start with Jake Boyd. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jake Boyd. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. I attended Cessna University and majored in chemistry and had a minor in psychology. Good afternoon. My name is Taylor Combs. I graduated from uh, University of Florida with a degree in biology and I am from Sarasota, Florida. Hello, my name is Adriana Heron. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I went to the University of South Florida, and I graduated with a degree in biological health sciences. Good afternoon. My name is Alexa Kinder. I'm from Bradenton, Florida, and I graduated from Florida State University in 2014 with honors and a degree in psychology and minors in biology and chemistry. Good afternoon. My name is Anna L. Um, I am from Ave Maria, Univers or Ave Maria, the town, and I graduated from Ave Maria University um, with a summa cum laude in a bachelor's in biology. Thank you. Hello. I'm Kelly Sperduto. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. I went to the University of Florida for undergrad, and my degree was in health science. Thank you, and we're all looking forward to seeing you on campus. And again, I just want to thank you for your very generous support of our campus, of our students, and of our mission. 
Thank you. Well, I think every one of the students have survived their first test. They were actually able to walk up here, introduce themselves, and not cause any problems. So <laughs> from this point on, we welcome you to the family and hope that many of you will decide to come back and spend the rest of your career here. Thank you very much for choosing us. Thank you. Well, David, I'm not sure how you follow that up, but I, I guess you have a few uh, you have a few awards here, so I think that I do, be a good but, uh, place to uh, you know, transition. As they're uh, exiting, I just want to thank Dr. Benzi for uh, being here. Uh, we appreciate it. We uh, it means a lot that uh, you guys have a practice here, or that you have your your uh, school here. We welcome you to Bee Ridge. Okay. And, um, but we can't say enough, so thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay, you ready, Mr. Chairman? I am. Okay, so first off I have today is our Excel Award winner for July of 2019. I'd like to introduce Wayne Rooks to the board. Wayne, come on up. Come over here, man. Make me look good. All right. <laughs> So Wayne Rooks is our July Excel Award winner. He's a uh, psychiatric technician in behavior health at Bayside uh, West and has worked at Sarasota Memorial since 2002. Wayne's co-workers had many complimentary comments to share, starting with the motto they, they say he lives by, respect doesn't cost a thing and you need it in your entire life. Wayne is a role model, they agree, who is respected by staff and patients he works with. He demonstrates excellent customer service, always taking the initiative to help out to help without being asked. He is a professional and a positive can-do work ethic while remaining compassionate and caring. Wayne works with child and with the child and adolescent unit where children often arrive in crises, often with traumatic histories. They can be fearful and apprehensive, which is where his skills are so valuable. His cheerful and empathetic de demeanor quickly puts these young patients at ease. He provides warmth and nurturing environment and structure they respond to. Wayne is a very gifted caregiver. He's also a CPR instructor who provides classes at our Bayside staff, as well as for the hospital and our employees in the community. Wayne, thank you for thank everything you, you do. We really appreciate it. like to thank the board for um, for having Bayside. It's a, a real need out in the community and um, we have some new leadership and I've actually been at Bayside for the last eight years so I'm actually really excited about where we're going to go to and how we're moving forward so because the need is definitely out there so I really appreciate that we do have Bayside for the needs out in the community. Thank you. Shall I continue, Mr. Chairman? You shall. Okay. We also have today a leadership award for our third quarter 2019. Uh, Catalina Joukowsky. Catalina, can you join me? <laughs> Not a surprise today? Not a surprise today. <laughs> Congratulations. I tried last time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were, you did great. Uh, Catalina is our uh, leadership award winner for the third quarter 2019. She's a clinical manager three for critical care in a trauma progressive unit. She's worked at Sarasota Memorial since 1997. Catalina's coworkers admire her path to leadership. She started as an RN in a cardiovascular intensive care unit. She went on to become an ICU charge nurse, then clinical coordinator, and finally a clinical manager three for, CC, for critical care in, in, in um, the trauma progressive unit. Catalina demonstrates the ability to create and implement a vision for her team, one coworker says. 
She is a visible leader, a pioneer of change, and she motivates her team to, do, to be the best. Catalina is a thoughtful, responsive leader who quickly manages any matter brought to her attention. She's supportive and works incredibly hard to be present for staff and patients. As one coworker recounts, when we transitioned to Nine East Tower, she personally welcomed every patient to the unit. Among her staff, Catalina promotes growth, autonomy, and the importance of upholding magnet standards. As one coworker con concludes, I'm a firm believer that we are a reflection of our leadership, and I'm so proud to have her as an awesome manager. Thank you for everything that you do. I will tell you, while Mr. Carter comes up here, come stand by me. It made me look good. Uh, we, we recognize, like we always do at Management Council, um, our, our award winners, and, um, and uh, she was very surprised, I think, that day, but her kids were there. And it's a little, I don't know how you had your kids there. You didn't, you didn't know it. Um, but um, they came up there and stood with her and they're beautiful children. So um, we really enjoyed uh, meeting them. So, Mr. Carter, you want to come to your part? The Leadership Award. And a quote from John Quincy Adams, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. The Hospital Board and Administration's Administrative staff of Surf Center Memorial Healthcare System present you, Catalina, with the Leadership Award for the third quarter of 2019, with thanks for your continued dedication to excellence. It's signed by David Barron, the President and CEO, and Joe DiVirgilio, Chair of the Board. Congratulations. Um, I can't say enough. I've been with SMH for 22 years, and um, this is the best place there is to work, and I thank you guys for all of your support and um, everything that we're able to do here. So um, thank you for all of that. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> David, thank you. Uh, before we move on, I am a little delinquent as chair, and I really should have started the meeting by introducing our newest board member, Britt Reiner, to the board. Uh, for those of you who were here last month, uh, we had an opportunity to introduce her and uh, let her uh, provide us with some comments and whatnot, but uh, officially she's part of our board and this morning demonstrated uh, that she is a valuable asset to all of us. So, Britt, welcome aboard. Um, with that, we'll move on to the next phase, which is the report of the medical staff. Dr. Seaman, do you have anything uh, beyond uh, what the motions we're going to present today? No, just a report. Uh, Mr. Peters will be presenting that. Already. Yes, and um, I will present this as chair of the quality committee. I propose a motion. I move approval of the orthopedic privileges as recommended by the medical executive committee. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion on the floor, please signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Great. Thank you. Dr. Seaman, anything further? No. Okay. All right. We move on to the uh, the foundation and uh, Mason Ayers. What's happening over at the foundation well, these days? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, today, unfortunately, I don't have a, a report, but I uh, just wanted to say uh, that, you know, we, like the hospital, remain very busy over the summer months, and uh, we are actively starting to plan our programs for next fiscal year and uh, come August I will have another report for you. Well I know you guys are busy because if the hospital's building something we are always looking towards the foundation yep. to help support it so uh, you're working behind the scenes I'm very aware of. Uh, so absolutely. Appreciate the, every effort you guys are making in that regard. Thank you. Um, move on to the secretary's report. Greg Carter. Thank you Mr. Chair. Um, on Monday, August 19th, we'll have a Mission and Planning Committee meeting. It will start at 9, and then our Finance Committee will be right after that at uh, 10.30 until noon. Then we'll have a closed session of the Hospital Board meeting from noon to 12.30. Then from 12.30 to 2 our, is our Board lunch and any issues and financial review. And from 2 to 4 will be our Board meeting. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Greg. Treasurer's report, Sharon. Yes, I move approval of the bad debts in charity care for the month ended June 30th, 2019, in the amount of $27,937,000. We have a second? Second. Second. Motion and second. All those 
those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. All right. All right. Thank you, Sharon. Well, we'll turn it over to financial highlights and our CFO, uh, Bill Wojcik. Bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have the financial highlights for June, and June representing the uh, end of our third fiscal quarter. So the fiscal year to date numbers represent nine months of activity. We'll start with operating revenue for the system. For the month of June, operating revenue $84,875,000, compared to a budget of $69,023,000. Through nine months, operating revenue of $740,318,000, compared to a budget of $672,279,000. The system's operating total, the system's total expenses for the month of June, $71,962,000 compared to a budget of 69666000 And through our third quarter fiscal year to date, expenses of $672,700,000 compared to a budget of $655,994,000. The system's operating income in the rating agency format for the month of June, $16,895,000, which generated an operating margin of 18.8%. This compared favorably to the budget of $3,283,000, uh, budget operating margin of 4.4%. Fiscal year to date, operating income of $103,895,000, compared to a budget of $51,614,000. Our um, fiscal year to date operating margin 13.3 percent compared to a budgeted operating margin of 7.2 percent. Going on to some statistics, these are June year to date numbers for the hospital average, average daily occupancy of 590 patients compared to a budget of 559 patients. The average acute length of stay so far this year, 4.32 days. Last year through nine months, it was 4.47 days. Admissions, we have 32,571, comparing favorably to the budget of 28,404. Surgical cases through nine months, 18,867, compared to a budget of 18,467. Births, we have 2,932 through nine months, compared to a budget of 2,637. Continuing with statistics, on the outpatient side, outpatient registrations, 355,017, compared to a budget of 362,423. Emergency care center registrations combined for the two ECCs, 95,851 compared to a budget of 95,403. And so far this year, our case mix index for all patients is 1.81, and for Medicare patients, 1.90. Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. Bill, thank you very much. Any questions for Bill? Um, I'm uh, just going to point out, uh, Sharon, when you made your motion, I think you read it incorrectly. You used the term uh, $27 million. Uh, so if I could ask. It's 24937. 20. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so could you please. Uh, we're just gonna, for clarification. For clarification, we're going to have you reintroduce the motion. Okay, I'll reintroduce them. I move approval of the bad debts and charity care for the month ended June 30th, 2019, in the amount of 24 million. $37,000. All right. Thank you very much. Can I have a second to that motion? Second. All right. All those in favor uh, signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, oh. You guys aren't strictly governed by the Roberts rules, and so this is sufficient to clarify the record. It was the intended motion all along. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. All right, let's move back. Let's move back. Um, where are we? Committee reports. Uh, Jim, would you please uh, uh, give update us on the joint financial and uh, uh, audit meeting uh, that we had today? 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, at our joint meeting, minutes of the Finance Committee meeting of May 20th of this year were approved. Bill Volgin, our CFO, presented management's recommendation to approve the proposed engagement letter for Bobbitt, Pittenger, and Company to conduct an external audit of the financial statements of the SNH Healthcare Retirement Plan for fiscal years 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. I move to engage the firm of Bobbitt, Pittenger, and Company, PA, pursuant to the terms of the proposed engagement agreement to audit the financial statements of SMH Healthcare Retirement Plan for the years ending September 30th, 2019 through September 30th, 2022, as recommended by the Audit Committee. I second that motion. A motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Bill Volgin, our CFO, presented management's recommendation to approve the proposed engagement letter for KPMG to conduct an external audit of the financial statements of the Sarasota County Public Hospital District for fiscal years 2020, 2021, and 2022. I move to extend the engagement of KPMG pursuant to the proposed extension to KPMG's current engagement letter to conduct the annual external audit of the district's financial statements from year 2020 through year 2022, as recommended by the Audit Committee. I second that motion. Motion is second. All those in favor signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Nelson Lane, our controller, presented management's recommendation to approve the proposed engagement letter for KPMG to provide tax consulting services on an as-needed basis. I move approval of the engagement of KPMG LLP to provide general tax consulting services on matters that may arise for which we seek their advice pursuant to the proposed engagement agreement as recommended by the Finance Committee. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Trent. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Okay, thanks. Tom Webster and Julia Safina from KPMG presented their audit plan and strategy for the external audit for the fiscal year 2019 financial statements of the Sarasota County Public Hospital District. They reviewed their risk assessment, plan deliverables, timeline, and their independence. And their independence. Their independence. This is for information only. Bill Volgin, our CFO, presented information for the committee to consider for setting the preliminary tax millage rate for the year 2020. He outlined the system's growth plans for 2020 and beyond, and he also reviewed the cost pressures that are impacting the system and preparing the budget for 2020 year. The taxable value of the property in Sarasota County, including the value of new construction, has, has increased 6.6% over the past year. Management's recommendation is to set the year 2020 preliminary millage rate at 1.0420, which is the same as the current millage rate. The board discussed the information provided. I move approval of the recommendation of the Finance Committee to set for the year 2020 preliminary millage rate at 1.0420, which is the same as the current millage rate, and to set the first public hearing to adapt the proposed budget and millage rate for September 3rd, 2019 at 5.01 p.m. and the second public hearing to adopt the budget and millage rate for September 16th, 2019 at 5.01 p.m. Both hearings to be held in the Board of Auditorium at the Waldemere Medical Plaza. I second the motion. Thank you, Trail. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion on the floor, please signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, yes. no. All right, thank you. Anything further? La yes, sir. Lastly, David Patterson, our Assistant Chief N uh, Nursing Officer, presented a capital request for the renovation of cardiac lab number three, including the purchase of new equipment and construction as budgeted 
in the year 2019 and for the year 2020 capital budgets with the total project project cost not to exceed $2 million. This project will optimize workflow and clinical quality using latest technology available and allow for improved start times and turnaround times to meet the increasing volume demands. I move approval of the funding for the renovation of cardiac catheterization lab number three, including the purchase of new equipment and construction as budgeted for the year 2000 and for the year 2020 capital budgets for total project cost not to exceed $2 million as recommended by the Finance Committee. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion? I misunderstood the years of the budget. Again, please. For the year 2019 and the year 2020. In other words, it's going to be split between those two. I this year and next year. I understood it was 2021. Oh, okay. My apologies. No, no, no problem. Thank you for the asking for the clarification. Can, did you vote on it? Uh, we need to vote. All those in favor of the motion on the floor, please signify by saying yes. 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 Opposed, no. Anything further? Jim? That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Excellent. Thank you very much. Quality Committee, Sharon. Quality Committee, Matt, in closed session, therefore I have no report, Mr. Chairman. All Thank you very much. All right. With that, we move to the President's report. David, our President and CEO. What do you have for us today? I have a lot of slides for you. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to start off like I uh, always do, Mr. Chairman, um, and look at our organizational report card. Uh, we, of course, look at uh, five different categories on this, starting with um, service. We have a goal of having our system um, patient experience, our likelihood of recommending, uh, have, have our number of departments um, or number of service areas at or equal to the 75th percentile. We have a goal of having eight out of 10 of those at, at that percentile. I'm happy to report we are currently tracking at nine out of 10, so uh, exceeding the goal. In the people category, we have our goal of having our turnover of our part-time and full-time employees uh, that have been hired within the last 12 months uh, be at 24% uh, or lower. I'm happy to report we are exceeding that as well at 22.01%. In the quality um, category, we have our goal of being our infection prevention, our combined overall standardized infection rate being less than 0.93 when the at national average are expected is 1.0. I'm happy to report we're, we're greatly exceeding that at 0.67, so uh, really a tribute to uh, our caregivers uh, in the organization. In the uh, finance category, uh, as our CFO, Bill Wojan, already has reported, our organizational, uh, our goal is having our operating margin um, be at our budget of 6.5%. We are track currently tracking that at 11.2%, at once again, as he stated, uh, being through nine, nine months of our 12 months uh, of our year. And then finally, in the growth segment, we look at our strategic growth um, uh, our organizational goals, both in inpatient admissions and outpatient um, observation outpatients. Our goal being 46,070 uh, or higher. Uh, we are currently tracking higher than that at 50,332. And our second goal in growth is our outpatient registrations uh, at 894,000. Uh, we are slightly over that. We're tracking at 900,496. Um, when we look at our patient experience report card, uh, we have our uh, the 10 different areas that we look at, uh, you know, th that you can see on the left-hand side. Uh, you see what our actual score is in the middle column, what the national median score is, which we're hitting um, over national median in, in all 10 categories, and then finally what the 75th percentile score is. And we're hitting that in nine out of the 10 categories. The only one uh, missing a little is the emergency care center on the main campus, uh, which is actually running uh, very strong at 82 over the national average, but not quite the 75th. So we're very ha um, happy to report this today. I do want to give an update to the board and to the community on some issue insurance issues uh, that we have going on. We're currently under uh, contract or contract negotiations, rather, with two uh, major health care plans. Uh, the first is Cigna, and I wanted to, to give an update on where we are with Cigna. 
SMH is in active negotiations with Cigna and working diligently with them on contract language we feel is essential to provide uh, quality health care. We have agreed to a 30-day extension in, in the hope that we can reach a mutually acceptable terms before the current agreement expires August uh, 15th. SMH has pa partnered with Cigna for many years and we're optimistic that we'll be able to continue that relationship in the future. Cigna members can call the number on your insurance card and let the, let the insurer know how important it is for SMH and First Physicians Group to remain in their network. The pending change uh, would affect members of Cigna's commercial and employer group uh, plans. It would not affect those with traditional Medicare and supple uh, Medicaid, Medicare supplemental plans or SMH behavior health services. SMH is not contracted with Cigna's um, Medicare Advantage plans um, offered through HealthSpring because they're not marketed um, in this area. Non to Humana, uh, which is another one we're, we're in some negotiation with right now, uh, SMH also continues to work with Humana on an agreement followed by, following the expiration of its contract on April 1st, 2019. The hospital and its outpatient and urgent care centers are out of network providers for Humana, Humana members until the new agreement uh, can be reached. So that's still ongoing as well. Moving on, uh, heart failure program um, has recently been honored for quality. Uh, Sarasota Memorial uh, recently received the American Heart Association's Get With the Gui uh, Guidelines Heart Failure Gold Plus <laughs> Quality Achievement Award for 2019. I think they work on their acronym maybe. Um, the national honor recognizes the hospital's commitment to ensuring heart failure patients receive the most appropriate treatment according to nationally recognized guidelines. SMH is also the, the association's um, target heart failure honor roll, which requires hospitals to meet criteria that improve medica medication adherence, uh, provides early follow-up care and coordination, and uh, enhances patient education. We'd like to welcome um, a new physician to our first physician group practices, uh, Dr. Deidre Myers, who has joined FPG Pediatrics at the hospital's practice on Enterprise Circle in Lakewood Ranch. She joins pediatricians Dr. Catherine Keeley and Jose Tavares. Uh, Dr. Myers has worked as a pediatrician since 2017, providing medical and preventive care to infants, children, and adolescents in outpatient and inpatient settings in La Cruces, uh, New Mexico. So welcome to Dr. Myers. An update on our residency programs. Um, on July 1st, Sarasota Memorial's Internal Medicine Residency Program in partnership with Florida State, Florida State's College of Medicine welcomed its third class and now at, f at full capacity with 27 students. While the new emergency uh, residency program kicked off its first class of nine residents. You know, that's actually uh, not right on here. It is actually a um, uh, a full capacity of 39 students. So that's, that's a typo on this slide. We also were um, pleasantly, um, so, um, we're happy to report that we had a trauma, our trauma manager named to a national advocacy group. Our trauma program manager, Gen Jennifer Sweeney, received a two year app appointment to the advocacy committee of the Trauma Center Association of America advocating for legislation, funding, and trauma system uh, development at the federal level. Jennifer is also on the Florida Trauma System Advi Advisory Council subcommittee for the review and re revision of the current Florida Trauma Center standards and had an article published in the National Journal of Trauma Nursing in 2018 focusing on trauma ICU. Give an update on S Sarasota Memorial Hospital Venice Hospital update. Uh, work continues on the site of the new SMH Venice Hospital on Laurel Road, following the City of Venice City of Venice's recent approvals of zoning changes and SMH's site and development plans. A meeting with the Venice Neighborhood Advisory Co uh, Council was planned later this summer to keep the neighbors in the loop on the progress. The SMH.com website will continue contain updates to help the community track the transformation from empty uh, lot to full service hospital. Um, so we are making good progress with our foundations right now. Our Cancer Institute uh, construction update, work has begun on, con bless you, 
Work has begun on connecting utilities, both power, medical gases, and chilled water from the Central Energy Center to the Oncology Tower construction site. The phased utility connection uh, plan began this month and will be completed in, in November. So support staff uh, have started to uh, begin, have begun to move to Main Street. The first group of our departments, starting with corporate finance and managed care, will move into SMH's new support services building in downtown Sarasota at the end of July. Several other areas will relocate to the building in August, while other support teams will move in the coming months. Once the city okays SMH's request to add more parking, uh, we uh, know we have a meeting with the city coming up this week, and hopefully we have some resolution um, at that point. Uh, we, re we recently, uh, last Friday, um, had a grand opening at our um, new uh, facility on Lorraine Corners. I would like to personally thank uh, many of the board members who, who took time to come out to that. I think um, hopefully you all shared my excitement and what that building um, is and, and, and will be. Uh, so First Physicians Group's newest state-of-the-art medical office um, is at Lorraine Corners and Lakewood Ranch. The new facility includes internal medicine and pediatric practices and timeshare space. Uh, physicians will begin seeing patients uh, today. And I will tell you, while we were there, we saw lines of patients registering um, and um, setting appointments with the physicians out there. So really anticipate that becoming a full campus pretty quickly. Our urgent care centers um, offer school um, uh, sports physicals. SMH um, urgent care centers offer $20 school physicals for students entering Sarasota district schools for the first time and school sports physicals for any K through 12 student who wish to participate in school sports. School sports physicals uh, called the pre-participation exams or PPEs are preventative measures to help minimize the risk of sports related injuries. Most Sarasota area schools require a sports physical every year. The urgent care centers offer the school physicals and sports uh, physicals throughout the summer and are, are open 8, to P, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, including weekends and most holidays. No appointment necessary. So please take advantage of this. Um, it's a pretty amazing service that we're happy to do every year. Uh, finally, we have our lecture series um, that we um, we have each and every month. This, this time is uh, focused on pain management. I'd invite people to go online and, and see what that schedule looks like on our uh, website. Uh, we also ask you just to, to RSVP so we can get a good head count, but it is free for anyone in the public who, who would like to be there. And with that, Mr. Chairman, that's my report. I'd be glad to answer any questions. Anybody have any questions for David? All right. Well, thank you very much, David. Thank you. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, consent agenda, we don't have anything. Uh, Karen, do we have any, nothing, nothing there? Legal matters. Well, with that, uh, we stand adjourned. Have a great, great, great evening.